Hey you guys! So, first of all, apologies for the unscripted video from my car, uh, but I woke up this morning to some news that I just had to talk about. So, as some of you may know, um, YouTube sent out a bunch of emails this morning about some changes to their partnership program. Now, as some of you know, I have been making videos on YouTube since 2006, so going on 12 years now. Um, and I used to have a pretty successful channel other than this one um, by, you know, to early, late 2000s uh, standards. Um, but I was accepted into the YouTube Partnership Program really early on, and it was such an exciting moment for me because I had been applying and applying and, you know, rejected all the time up until a certain point. So getting accepted to the program was... A huge deal for me back in the day. And I did take a break and I came back on this channel in late 2016, um, earned partnership with it, and have been monetizing my videos ever since. But as of this morning, I have been terminated from the YouTube partnership program. And basically anyone who has less than a thousand subscribers or, no not or, and doesn't get 4,000 hours of video views each year, so each 12 months, basically have been removed completely from the partnership program. And this just kind of felt like such a slap in the face this morning. Like, YouTube has been making a series of bad decisions in the past couple of years. Um, they've made good ones, and they've made some really, really bad ones. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but this comes across as, you know, the final straw. They no longer care at all about any of the smaller channels. They don't care about building new YouTubers. They only care about, the, you know, the Jake Pauls, the Logan Pauls of the world. They only want the big earners making revenue for them. And that just kind of goes against everything YouTube was created for. Like, I remember back in the day, there were so many smaller channels, and even now, there are so many smaller channels that I really enjoy watching, but as of this morning, they can no longer make any revenue from their videos. And I know you may be thinking, you know, oh, he's just pissed that he doesn't make video, make money from his videos anymore. But it's not really about that. I mean, I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys. Most months I make, you know, under $20 from my videos. It's not like a full-time thing for me. In fact, I'm like on the way to work now. To put it into perspective, if you were to start making videos today and you didn't have any support of any of the bigger channels or, you know, money behind you, um, you would basically have to get, you know, at least, what, like 500,000 views in the first 12 months or you're not going to be accepted. And I, if, for those of you who don't make videos, that's not, you know, very likely unless either you have one, you're really good friends with a big YouTuber, or two, you have a lot of money to promote your stuff. Um, so it's really made me make a decision this morning. Um, and this, you know, this may change depending on how YouTube reacts to the backlash, because I'm sure they're going to get tons of backlash for this. But as of today, right now, I am no longer going to associate myself as a YouTuber. Um, I'm just being honest with you guys. Um, this is such, you know, an insult to smaller channels that it just makes me not want to be associated with YouTube at all anymore. So this may potentially be my very last video. Um, again, it's not because I'm demonetized. Again, that was just kind of, you know, money on the side. It kind of gave me money to say, hey, I made 20 bucks this month. Let me try out a new subscription box to make a video for you guys. Um, but, you know, it's not like I relied on that money or anything. But really, I just am really calling for change. Like, I think smaller YouTubers need a chance to be rewarded for the effort they put into. Like, now is the time. Now is the absolute perfect time for an entrepreneur to come out there and make a competitor for YouTube. And I'll be honest, I'll switch. And I imagine a lot of the smaller channels will too. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. If you are a smaller channel, um, or, you know, if you're a big channel and watch this, you know, woo, um, if you're a smaller channel and either you've never been monetized or you've been demonetized, leave a comment below with a description of your channel, your types of videos, and I will go to your channel, I will subscribe to you, I will watch your videos, and I encourage all of you to do the same. So after you watch this video, feel free to scroll down below, see people's comments, check out their channels, and really... I just want, you know, us all to support each other. You know, we're not all going to be Logan Pauls. We're not all going to be, I mean, I hate to, you know, use him as an example, but you know what I mean. And, you know, one more thing, if this were, you know, let's say they changed the policy where this only applied to new channels. So if you're already a YouTube partner and you're already making money for your videos, but they're saying, hey guys, you know, we're going to have to restrict partnership um, just a bit, you know, because maybe we're losing money. I get it. They're a business. I get it. 
Um, but that's not the case. They're taking it away from people who have been partners for over 10 years, like myself. And that just is, you know, it's just such a blow. I put so much of my life into YouTube and now it's just kind of being taken away because, you know, I wasn't making them enough money. So yeah, let me know what you think of this and leave a description of your channel down below. I would love to check it out. Um, and I will subscribe to you and all that stuff. So yeah, those of you who, you know, want to keep making videos, go for it. You know, I'll support you. Other YouTubers will support you. Hopefully the ones reading the comments below. Um, and really, I just, you know, don't want this to discourage so many young people from getting started creating their own content because I was that, you know, 15 or 16 year old kid and just thought had a dream of making money on YouTube one day. Anyways, I've got to get to work. So even more so now because, you know, I'm fired from YouTube, but I just want to know what you guys think and know that, you know, I may come back to this channel. I may not, but no matter what, tell me about your channels below. I will subscribe. I will always be a YouTube viewer. I just may not be a YouTube creator. Um, okay, you guys. So I hope you have a great day and try not to get too down about this because hopefully there'll be enough backlash um, and support for small channels so that YouTube will change their minds. So yeah, I'll see you when things change. Bye.